This month, an in-depth look at a condition that causes problems with your body's blood flow called Raynaud's disease. Joining me now for the discussion is rheumatologist Dr. Ben Wang. Dr. Wang, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Tell us what Raynaud's disease is. Raynaud's disease, or Raynaud's phenomenon, which is uh, the other name it goes by, refers to a situation where the blood flow is uh, cut off commonly in the hands and sometimes in the feet due to a, an exaggerated response of the blood vessels to cold or emotional stress. Who's generally affected by Raynaud's? Usually it's the younger people who are affected and more predominantly females are uh, affected with this condition. Although there are situations where it can have its onset later in life and among males as well. Tell me specifically what the symptoms are. Well, all of us uh, at one time or another have experienced feeling cold or tingly in our hands or feet when we're out in the cold, but in Raynaud's phenomenon, the blood vessels actually constrict in a very exaggerated way so that blood flow is actually cut off. And so what you'll see is very sharp uh, borders of uh, areas where there, are no, where there is no blood flow uh, to your digits. And that's only in the cold or that's in, in general life? Most commonly it's uh, induced by the cold or changes in temperature, but also we can see this uh, quite frequently with situations of emotional stress. Tell me how the disease is treated. Well, the disease can be treated fairly successfully without the use of medications in some cases. Uh, keeping your whole body warm, including your hands and feet, uh, avoiding rapid changes in temperature, especially going from warmer areas to cold, uh, can, also, can uh, always be helpful to treat the disease. But if we have to, there are a number of medications that have been tried and are moderately effective in treating Raynaud's phenomenon. And a lot of these are the medications that we would use to treat high blood pressure, things like calcium channel blockers, vasodilators, and the like. Dr. Wang, thanks so much for joining us. Thank